Now, the BJP bribe gate is exploding in the poll bound state of Karnataka after Congress staged a massive protest demanding the resignation of Chief Minister Baswaraj Bumai and the arrest of BJP's Madhul Virupaksha, whose son was caught red handed accepting a bribe. The Bumai government has now dismissed everything that the Congress party is demanding. In fact, the government has gone ahead and said that the opposition at the moment has no other job apart from levelling allegations against the current government. Bamai also went ahead and said that when the Congress party was in power, they had shut down 59 corruption cases in Karnataka and the grand old party cannot wash away the sins that they have done in the past by blaming the BJP now. Slamming Siddharamaya, the Chief Minister Bamai said Siddharamaya weakened the Lokayok in order to cover up corruption cases. He further questioned Siddharamaya whether he had he had resigned as the chief minister when 2 lakh rupees was recovered from a congress minister's home in the past. The Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal meanwhile has also hit back at the Karnataka BJP government. All this is taking place after BJP MLA's son was caught accepting a bribe of 40 lakh rupees and later 8 crore rupees were seized from the MLA's house and his son's residence in the city of Bengaluru. <laughs> Our Mantri office Nale, Yard Laksha Hana Sikto, Rajanamukotra Sidramaya, our Loka Akta Didre, Arashta Akta Loka Akta Adana Atenta Durbala Gulside, Intak Prakarnagala Muchaka de K. E. Prakarnale, Nispakshwa, the Tanik and Editha Rade, Yotin Yella Yenu, Sizagi, further Sizagi, Mat Loka Akta Helikin Nordaga, now Nispakshapa to Marte Rade, Saks. ಇವತ್ತು it is the shameful for Karnataka people and it is proved that the BJP government is completely corrupted and BJP government uh, doesn't have any sanity or any uh, morale, uh, what to say, um, morality to conduct this inquiry on the one hand the media says that the amount huge amount has been recovered from a bjp mla then how is it that the police goes around arresting the former chief minister the person who is in who is in command of the state that he will be responsible for answering this question भाजपा की सरकार तो 40 प्रतिशत कमीशन की सरकार है पेसीएम की इनके इनकी सरकार है मुझे आप यह बताइए कि यह पैसा कहां जा रहा था यह किसके लिए इकट्ठा हो रहा था इस घूस पर यह राजनीति करेंगे असलियत यह है कि घूस के और भ्रष्टाचार के दलदल में फंसी हुई है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कर्नाटक की सरकार और जो चंदन सोप माइसोर सैंडल सोप विश्व में विख्यात है उसमें भी भ्रष्टाचार की दुर्गंध और बदबू भरने का काम किया है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कर्नाटक की सरकार ने my colleague Anaga Kesav is now joining me from the city of Bengaluru. Anaga, every few days we see these kind of allegations which are being made by the Congress party. We are also seeing how the BJP government in the state is defending all these allegations. That's right, Aishwarya. So initially yesterday, the Congress staged a massive protest outside Chief Minister Basavaraj Bombay's house. Sidra Maya, D.K. Sujewala, even Priyanka, they, all the tall leaders of, of the Congress party, they had tried to get out. CM Bombay's residence and then they were taken, you know, they were taken inside the police van and they had even demanded for Chief Minister Bombay's resignation. And that is why Bombay has now hit out at the opposition, at especially Sidramaya, saying that when Sidramaya was in power and when he was Chief Minister during his regime, there was two lakh rupees that was found in his, you know, his own residence, in his own minister's residence. Despite that, uh, you know, Sidra Maya did not tend the resignation and there were 59 cases of corruption that were closed when Congress was in power. So despite all these wrongs, Sidra Maya continued being the chief minister. So what moral right does he have to ask me to step down from my chair is how the Bomai government and Bomai is hitting out at the Congress party. 
Now, the, you know, the entire Congress party, the demand seems to be growing, demanding for Bumai's resignation. But it remains to be seen how citizens react to BJP. Because on one hand, you have BJP going all out with the Vijay Janakankal Payatre. On the other hand, we have this dubious tag of 40 percent Sarkar and this MLA being, you know, uh, uh, his house being raided. And, and this is 8 crore rupees we are talking about. So we are yet to see how the citizens of Karnataka and Bengaluru respond to this. Right, Anaga, thank you so much for joining me with all those details on this story.